Hi guys, it's Mari here and Kelly and I are going to be doing summer layouts today for our challenge this week. So I'm just showing you some of the things that I thought I might use on this layout. I started out with a photograph here in black and white and I had placed it on some white cardstock after taking a look through my stash at a lot of different things that I might like to do. And I decided to settle on doing some mixed media for this summary layout for the, with this picture of Jordan. And so I'm just starting out with some gesso on my cardstock. I'm just using this silicone brush here from Prima to spread my gesso around. Just gonna give that a little bit of drying time here with my uh, heat tool. And I always like to heat the back of my and dry the back of my paper as well as the front. It does tend to alleviate some of the extra warping that might happen to your paper. So now that I've got that all done, I'm just going to take some acrylic craft paint and this is just a really inexpensive paint. I think this is from Michaels and I'm just going to take a one inch flat brush here and I'm going to just loosely spread that onto the area where I have the gesso. Now the idea that I had here was to create um, just kind of like a focal point more in the center of the layout and I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of heat embossing with a stamp. So I've taken this dark room stamp that has triangles on it and I'm going to apply that stamp with some Versamark ink, which is just a really sticky, clear ink. And it allows you to adhere some embossing powder to your project wherever you've stamped that ink. Now you can see that I've just taken some gold embossing powder and I'm going to, or I already have applied that over top of where that Versamark ink is on my layout. And now what I'm going to do is just heat that up with my heat tool. And you can see this is a little bit different heat tool than the other one. This one is has a, a much more narrow nozzle on it. As you can see, it allows the heat to kind of go to a more concentrated smaller area and I like to use that when I'm doing the heat embossing it actually gets quite a bit hotter too than the Ranger heat tool so I'm just going to melt this embossing powder in gold I really like how this looks and I'm a little bit of a gold addict so I really like this gold accent on here and I'm going to continue to do a little bit more gold embellishing when I work on my layout. Now what I did for my layer here is behind the photograph I've got a glassine bag and I've just I'm going to put a couple of tags in there and before I get working on my photo mat again I'm going to just take this archival link from Ranger and I'm going to just put a little bit of stamping in this text stamp text stamp from Tim Holtz. This is a Stampers Anonymous stamp. I really love this stamp. I I have used it a ton and I'm going to just take some of that black ink I'm kind of trying to position the ink just so that it peeks out where I want the photograph to go so I just keep taking my photo back and making sure that it's on there just where I want it I don't want ink on the whole stamp because I don't want the stamp to be square I just want it to be kind of just a hint or an impression of a little bit of text in that upper left hand corner where the photo mat's going to be so you can see that I like how that looks there and now what I'm going to do is take that stamp and I'm going to add a little bit of that same text to below where I want my photograph to be as well. Once again, I just want a tiny little bit of text poking out there. So I'm just making sure that the bottom of the stamp is at the lowest point where I want the um, actual ink to be so that I don't go too low on my paper. And once again, I'm just going to keep kind of checking out and seeing um, how that's going to look and when I'm happy with where I have that then I'm ready to just clean up my stamp here and move on to the next thing that I'm going to work on. So now that I've got that all done I'm going to check out some different things that I'm going to do with my layers. So I've just taken a couple of interesting papers from my stash. I think some of these are from um, Oasis from Crate Paper and some from Chasing Dreams also from Crate Paper and I'm just going to try to choose some things that look a little bit distressed because obviously this layout has just that sort of distressed look to it and I decided that I wanted to create a little cluster in that top right hand corner there as well just because I felt like um, I just wanted to you know there's a lot of white space here I typically don't leave quite that much white space on my layouts and I kind of wanted to just see if I could fill in some of that area up at the top now I kind of had then the idea that I wanted to add a little bit of um, detail over to the left side so I sized my paper down about three quarters of an inch and cut a strip of some of that uh, text paper from Chasing Dreams I'm, I just added that over to that 
left side. Now I'm going to add a little bit of gold accent pieces up to that cluster on the top just by taking a little bit of chipboard and some stickers from Oasis and Chasing Dreams and just create a few little more um, additional parts to that cluster up at the top trying to decide what I want to do with that left hand corner at the bottom of the photo and I've decided that I want to do a little bit of yellow as well besides the aqua color in the layout just to add little pops of color here and there so I'm just taking a little die cut um, I don't know I, I'm not sure fancy pants maybe is where that came from from a collection from last summer and I just really like that and I like the sentiment that's on it and um, so I love that and I'm just going to add a little bit of gold glitter paper to the left hand side there as well and now I'm going to just take a little bit of gold thread and add that to my tag at the top and I'm going to be almost done here guys so I just have a little bit of journaling I think to add and you can see that the title is weekend Saturday those are just some uh, pieces from the Oasis collection and I'm going to just do some journaling below that about uh, a trip that Jordan took to Montreal for Canada Day this year. So um, that's what I'm uh, journaling about here and this is my summer layout for the challenge this week. So I'm just going to slow things down here in a second so that you can see some of the details. I just ended up adding a little bit of stamping to that cluster at the top. Make sure you hop on over to Kelly's channel as well and check out her summer layout for our challenge for this week. And thanks so much for stopping by guys. I really appreciate it. Have an amazing day and I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.